trying to buy a car? Yeah. Um, have you guys thought of a Tesla? There's no way in hell you get me that. I can't do an electric car because mining lithium is far more damaging than mining for oil. I just bought a Rivian Hyundai Ionic also. My husband loves the Hyundai now. I was at a like $100 Model 3 deposit and then changed my mind. You, uh, you want a happy way? We are getting an electric car. We're getting the Ionic 5. Have you seen a Cybertruck in person? Not my style. I think it's old. Good, how are you guys? Good. There you go. You guys going to uh, Hyundai? Yep. Trying to buy a car? Yeah. Um, have you guys thought about Tesla? Well, we thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, he's showing off like an auto drive too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so self driving? Yes, sir, it's on. First time experiencing it or have you experienced it before? Uh, I, I drove a Model S way back in the day before it was quite as capable. Mm -hmm. Like maybe a couple years ago, three, oh, four, no. five. It, it would have been before the Model Three came out. Wow! I was a so hundred dollar like Model Three depositor, and then changed my mind. Hmm. So that must be at least six years ago, right? Six, seven something, years something ago. Something like that, yeah. Is it the mileage or range that you you uh you weren't happy with? Or? No, it was uh, needs at the time. I needed a, a truck. Mm -hmm. I got a tow every now and then. Mm -hmm. Model 3 ain't gonna do that. So. Nope. But Model Y could, but uh, depending on the yeah. weight, I guess. I wouldn't even trust something like a Lightning or, or something that mm -hmm. has the tow rating just because it, it hurts range so bad. That's true. We are getting an electric car. Mm -hmm. We're getting the Ionic 5. Ionic 5. Yeah, but it's just gonna be a round town thing. Mm -hmm. Which is what we're looking for now. Yeah. I just got some good deals on them right now, that's all. Yeah? Yeah. If it's Ionic 5, it's a, is it SUV or yeah. the SUV one? Yeah, the six is the, is the car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, it, it would be considered a direct competitor to this. Yeah, yeah, actually it is. So, have you guys test driven Model Y before? Or? No. No? Like, already um, pretty solid on Ionic 5, I guess. Yeah, we're basically already bought. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys already bought? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just picking it up right now. Up. Right on, right on. I like the exterior too, actually, like that yeah, kind of retro, a, it's, it's retro very feel. interesting style, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. How much is Ionic 5? Uh, the one we're getting is like 53. 53? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like I said, most direct competitor because these things are probably in the realm. I, they might start in the 30s, is that right? Yeah, you can get one for 35k. Yeah. Yeah, right now. After rebate and everything. Back then, was was Autopilot available on your Model S? Uh, the Model 3 had it out the gate, but I don't think it was good. Mm -hmm. like, it was still very, yeah. very beta. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think they're still claiming it is beta now, but it was even more so. Yeah, Autopilot. So yeah, full self driving just got out of beta. So now it's oh, it uh, is out of beta. Yeah, it's nice. super. They call it supervised. Huh. Um, honestly, I I think it's just another word for beta. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> makes uh, makes Uber pretty nice, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, helps a lot. Have you have you seen a Cybertruck in person? I've seen a couple now. Oh, not my style. <laughs> not my jam. <laughs> no, the. The new truck that's coming out that's got my interest peaked is the Ram Charger. It's the uh, EV. It's it's kind it's it's a not a not a typical hybrid, but it's a hybrid. Uh -huh. So the gas motor does not drive the wheels at all. It just charges the batteries. Oh. Which then drive regular electric motors. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting concept. Yeah. Uh, Chevy did it with the Volt like a decade ago. Uh huh. Um, uh -huh. But this is the first truck that they've done it with. Wow. Um, and it's nice because it should handle the, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, should handle towing a lot better. Mm. 
it's still going to kill a battery mm -hmm. twice as fast, but at least you've got the gas motor to make up for it. Mm -hmm. So you can just put gas in it and keep going and not have to worry about finding a charger to charge a huge battery. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Interesting. When is that thing going to come out? Do you know? uh, it's supposed to be a 2025, so end of this oh. year. Oh, 2024 or 2025? It's going to be a 2025. So because of like the delay Next in the year. model years. Uh -huh. So it comes out in late 2024. Oh, gotcha. So Cybertruck, it, I guess it looks ugly, right, too? Is that <sighs> the vibe or like... What? Yeah, I mean... No, ugly is a little harsh. I don't necessarily, <laughs> I don't necessarily think it's ugly. Uh -huh. It's just a very, very specific choice. Mm. It's like they really tried to, they really carved a niche hard on mm -hmm. that one. There's only going to be so many people that like the way that thing looks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm not one of those people, but that doesn't mean I think it's ugly. Mm. My main problem with it is the same problem I have with all electric trucks. It's just the yeah. range gets killed when you start to tow. Yeah, cuts, cuts in half or something. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. bad. Mm -hmm. It's really bad. Yeah. You throw a second car behind you and it's gonna take a second car's worth of power to pull the <laughs> Yes, there it is. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Congrats guys on the Ionic 5. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Have a good day. Uh -huh. Well, to me that sounded like a <laughs> either Tesla or Elon hater. In my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, but that's that was the vibe that I got from this customer. How long have you had your Tesla? Um, total five years, approaching well. five years. You like it? I, I love it. This is actually my uh, second Tesla. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, used to have Model Three. This is Model Y, a little bit bigger than Model Three. Yeah. Yeah, loving it. This this one, I've been. Uh, it's been one year. Okay. Yeah, I bought it last year. Um, yeah, are you thinking about buying a Tesla? Uh, well, we have. I just bought a Rivian. Oh. So. Congrats! Yeah. So and it's then we car. have a Hyundai Ionic also. Okay, two EVs, but yeah. no Tesla. Well, I I, <laughs> hey, I reserved the Rivian and it was taking forever to get. Okay. So then I'm like. That's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. So I just went and bought the Hyundai. Mm hmm. And then I got the Rivian, so, and my husband loves the Hyundai now, so he just kind of took that over and I got my Rivian. No way! <laughs> he, he loves Ionic? He does. Wow. Wow. So, well, I, he loves electric, I think. Right on. I mean, uh -huh. I was the one that was going to get the electric and then he just like, well, since you're already getting one, let's just keep this and I'll take it over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so. I heard, yeah, I heard Ionic is, uh, it's, it's, uh, it gets a lot of love from the owners. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's been, it's been good for us. We like it. Okay. I mean, yeah, we've had it over a year, so the Rivian we've only had, I don't know, eight months, six months? Eight months. Not too long. Okay. It took a while to get, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. It takes, takes a long time to, yeah. a after you make a reservation, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it did. Yeah. Wow. Well. I mean, they weren't even out yet when we reserved it, so we knew it'd take a little while, but mm -hmm. we didn't think it'd take as long as it did. So. <laughs> I see. We knew it'd take like six to nine months. We didn't know it'd take a couple of years. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But That's yeah, awesome. so we're still trying to get used to uh -huh. all electric vehicles. So mm -hmm. it takes getting used to. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Especially the traveling long distance. Yes. That I haven't dare do because we we live in Utah. Oh. So I'm like, oh, do we want to fly or drive to Vegas? And I'm like, ah. Depending on uh, yeah, what area just, you're from in Utah, yeah. for sure. We're, yeah, we're northern, so, you know, okay, that's northern far. Utah. Yep. But, and I just don't know if I trust all the stations to be open and available. And mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's very fair. Uh, yeah. That's a fair concern. I think yeah. a lot of um, EV like owners like first owners they, they have that kind of concern too right um but yeah uh you can now use tesla supercharging stations yes, so yes we can you know We're it's uh an adapter mailed out to us our that's recently, awesome so that is awesome now hopefully open up i don't know i just haven't gone on long road trips yet mm. with it. so i thought uh, we'll fly down <laughs> <Instead>. <laughs> yeah. yeah flying is always uh is a good choice it's faster <laughs> yeah 
we're gonna have to drive actually speaking of dri uh, driving the car has been driving the whole time i don't know if you noticed anything oh, is but it completely it, on self? yeah it's uh, self-driving self yeah. yeah i've been beta testing this technology for over two years oh yeah yeah and now it's uh yeah it's finally coming to uh, fruition so what yeah. do you have to do when it's self-driving what are you uh, does the driver have to do or does it do most of it for you yeah it does 99 percent of the driving okay. so once you get to the destination now it kind of tries to park itself um it try it tries to find like a um areas where it can just kind of like park itself like a, at but next to the curb or something like that sometimes this one time it parked on the driveway by itself as i was dropping off a customer oh so it's just parked on drive you know customer's driveway i was like this is cool but i'm sorry about that and yeah he was really blown away oh my god he wants to okay now it's parking sorry about that you're okay yeah <laughs> um yeah but pretty much nothing you just have to uh, supervise and monitor you know um yeah. it, it, it does the right things um that's pretty much it just wow. supervising watching watching out the roads just making sure um other drivers like you know they they drive safely right yeah right. this stay in their lane correct and everything. yeah that's mm -hmm. interesting yeah so you're, yeah, you're, you're about to experience everything here <laughs> of Tesla. <laughs> uh, yeah, my sister has a Tesla. They've had it for a while. They love it. And my parents just bought one too. Oh, wow. But they didn't, I don't know. I was actually excited for them to drive it or get it. But then they did get the driver assist stuff, which I know they can add later. But I'm like, correct. you need that because they're getting old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they scare me to drive. I'm like, you're the type of person that needs the driver assist because I think it would be. Yes, I think this technology is going to benefit a lot of people, especially with the, uh, you know, uh, disabilities. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had a couple of customers whose uh, children or like uh, parents that are, uh, I guess, like a handicapped. Uh -huh. Yeah, they they saw the potential right away uh, after experiencing the technology. safe um yeah after i got tesla like i think i've done actually more road trips because oh, really? it's so much fun yeah road tripping with tesla like so yeah in utah doesn't have as many charging stations and i have a trip up to idaho mm -hmm. later in the month for work and idaho's even worse than utah <laughs> oh yeah is it i'm like uh, there are hardly any charging stations uh -huh. up in idaho Interesting. And Utah has it's getting more, but you know, compared to California, uh -huh. everywhere's behind, right? California, mm. they're everywhere. Yeah. So uh, the rest of the states just have to slowly catch up. <laughs> yeah. Especially the smaller states like Utah or mm -hmm. Idaho, or uh -huh. <laughs> just still a little behind. Yeah. 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 Good news is though, um, like the they're ramping up. Um, you know, expanding their net, uh, charging station network. Tesla is. Mm -hmm. Tesla is. So it's it's been like a kind of like a almost like a wide spreading like like a wildfire, like yeah. really fast. Um, so yeah, here in Vegas, uh, we used to have like only a couple of uh, charging station stalls, and now like it's almost everywhere. Like in six months, we got like a new yeah charging stations everywhere yeah yeah well hopefully utah and idaho will catch up because it's still just my fear of driving those long distances mm. how long will it take mm -hmm. how long will the charger you mm -hmm. know and i know they map it out for you but yeah they can't map out you know is someone already going to be at the station is there enough for you you know i don't know oh you know actually it does tell you everything all the information now yeah, well, it tells you if they're available, but like if I wanted to plan a few weeks ahead, I wouldn't know if there are going to be five stations mm. available or I don't know. That's just my fear that yeah. you know, someone will be using every station there mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. I don't know what the odds are of that. Mm -hmm. low, but 
yeah it's right now actually it tells you like um, how many stalls are being used and uh, like right, how currently. soon they're gonna be currently but not like can't predict you know in a day <laughs> yeah yeah that's a little when you're too driving hard. through how many uh -huh. stations will be available you know that's, uh -huh. that's, I don't know like yeah. I said it's, they say you just gotta do it you know for your fear but, yes Yeah, hopefully they, they, they'll catch up very soon with yeah. the charging station network. Looks like we're almost here while we're talking. The car did a great job. <laughs> yeah. So what did you think of self-driving? It was great. Yeah. They did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Only available in Tesla. Yes, I <laughs> so. have noticed that. <laughs> Let me back up a little bit. We'll let Tesla, Tesla test it out first and then slowly release to every other cars, right? Yes. Yeah, R right now all the every Tesla owner can get it. Okay. If they purchase it or they can uh they can um try for 1 month free. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell my parents to do that cuz that's what they need cuz they're not Definitely. Best <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll love it. Old. <laughs> yeah, I know. They need it. Well, that was fun talking to uh EV owner who owns Rivian and Hyundai Ionic, but no Tesla. <laughs> That's very interesting. Well, but uh, looks like uh, her whole family, uh, including her husband, loves driving EV, and I'm glad that I that they um, got to experience Tesla, full self driving, just everything in general. Hopefully they convert, they, they'll try FSD, but another perfect drive. All right, Ter Terminal 1, yeah, going, going to the Norwegian. airport. We're in the middle of relocating here, so. Oh, okay. Moving. Back and forth, Moving back here. and forth, yeah. From? California. Okay, SoCal, NorCal? Uh, Central. Central? Yeah. Central California. Yeah, Modesto, Turlock area. Gotcha, gotcha. Right on. Well, welcome to uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas in a uh, robo taxi. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been in a Tesla. So. Oh, okay, welcome. So this car is driving by itself, so it's gonna take yeah. us to the destination. Well, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about it before? Self driving? I've heard about it, I've just never actually seen it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're in it. All right. <laughs> well, it might make it easier for you, less well, stressful. 100%. Yeah. Driving. Um, yeah, it, it is quite stressful at times. Oh, I'm sure, especially yeah. the stop and go traffic. Yeah. You can just sit there and chill. Yep, it does all the thinking for me. All I need to do is just like monitoring and supervising. Yeah. Make, making sure it's, uh, it's doing the right things. Nice. So this whole time you haven't had to do a damn thing in this car. Mm -hmm. Other than just talking to you. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Yeah, it is nice because if I was driving, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to have this kind of conversation with right. you. Right. Because I I would have to focus. I am still focusing, but yeah, it's different. It's the, it is very different. Yeah. Yeah. So this. Yeah, this makes it's a game changer. This whole technology I've been using it for more than two years. Actually, I'm a beta tester for uh, Tesla. Oh, cool! Doing this, yeah. I don't get paid for this. I don't get compensated for this, but I've been supporting the company and the mission, everything, just Elon in general. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's it, the technology has come so far, and you're experiencing the very best version of it. Okay. There, there have been a lot of diff, uh, previous versions yeah. that didn't really work well. But this one, this one is the one. I can't do an electric car because we tow a boat. Okay. And the boat weighs about uh, 8,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I have not seen an electric car that can tow 8,000 pounds yet. Have you heard about Cybertruck? Yeah. There's no way in hell you'd get me in that thing. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like the look of it? Not at all. <laughs> not in the slightest. Wait, what? So, um, what, what do you think about the look? Like, do you, like, what's your, what's your thought yeah, on it? It looks like a door wedge. And what was that? It's what you put underneath the door so it doesn't close. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
I mean, yeah, and then some people, including myself, I personally love the car, but it just reminds me reminds me of a refrigerator. Yeah. Like Samsung or LG, you know, oh, the yeah. stainless. Yeah. 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 yeah you're, you're absolutely right. Okay. Uh, what about for the F one fifty Lightning? Hunk of shit. Like what is they, it? They're they've cut their they've cut their manufacturing of it because they have so many problems with it. Oh, that's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Yeah. I would love to see the electric vehicle industry do well, mm -hmm. but for a different reason. Okay. Uh, for environment environmental reasons or no, because mining lithium is far more damaging than mining for oil. Mm -hmm. uh, the lithium uh, mining is really bad for the environment <laughs> which is it's hilarious to me that mm -hmm. that's you know the number one thing that people don't look at mm -hmm. uh, I would like to see it because it is the wave of the future mm -hmm. uh, fossil fuels are finite mm -hmm. just like lithium is finite mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping that they advance like everything else does mm -hmm. to the next level of electricity where they have they can find a different storage capacitor other than lithium mm -hmm. but in order to get there mm -hmm. you have to um, you have to go through a growing phase yeah so right now lithium is that growing phase so I get it yeah um, but yeah I would love to see that happen absolutely love to see it mm -hmm. EV gotcha that's something I didn't know about the yeah lithium mining and stuff it's good to know well, the majority of it's in China. Mm. And we have a huge reserve in California, but they'll never let you mine for it. Interesting. Because the, the environmentalists won't let you. Yeah. It was great talking to you, Matthew. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. We'll see yeah, you later. welcome to Vegas. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with your uh, moving and everything. Hopefully it goes well. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And thanks for the ride. No problem. Safe flight. All right. Well, that was another perfect drive. Uh, um, customer was seemed pretty knowledgeable about um, uh, the things that we talked about I, I, I enjoyed the conversation I thought it was pretty uh, educational and uh, informative um, he supports EV however he believes um, the lithium battery mining is harmful for the environment so that was interesting something I have to look into on my end but yep another perfect drive and yeah it was great and he <laughs> he, he thought um, he thought Cybertruck was not looking good in terms of visuals um, I you know makes sense you know it's not for everyone um, yeah that was, that was pretty good <laughs>